A South Bay drug maker is about to begin human testing on a first of its kind fentanyl antibody treatment. Now, unlike Narcan, the antibody manufactured by Cessation Therapeutics would be administered before fentanyl is taken to prevent death or overdose. ABC 7 News South Bay reporter Dustin Dorsey explains how experts hope this can be a solution to the rising issue in the Bay Area, in fact, all across the country. A sobering dose of reality, fentanyl remains the leading cause of death for people ages 18 to 45 and the cause of 90% of overdose fatalities. Experts say more options are needed to prevent loss of life. Despite the availability of things like Narcan, we continue to see at all-time high overdoses throughout the country. And we think our big news is we have something that we think will help address um, this public health crisis. Born out of San Jose based investment firm Altamont Pharmaceutical Holdings, Cessation Therapeutics has developed a new monoclonal antibody therapy. The FDA has authorized a human clinical trial of the SCX1004 injection that provides no high and prevents any type of overdose. Whether it's injected intravenously or snorted through the nose, or even taken orally, we're, once it gets to the bloodstream, this antibody is gonna grab it with high affinity and, and prevent it from, from inducing its harmful effects in the brain. Unlike Narcan that's given by someone else after an overdose, the antibody would be given by a doctor before someone uses fentanyl and has shown 30 days of overdose prevention and non-human testing. The hope is that this would be another tool in the fight against fentanyl deaths. We're trying to get to people, high-risk individuals, before they experience an overdose and provide a, a protective mechanism um, in the form of this antibody, so fentanyl is rendered ineffective. The Santa Clara County Fentanyl Working Group's Dr. Rachel Sussman says there are other pre-overdose treatments for opioids like Vivitrol, and more study needs to be done before CSX1004 receives full FDA approval. But she says this could be helpful. We do have several tools already, and I, I think that one of our challenges is making sure that those existing tools are not underused. But another tool would never hurt, um, and absolutely, I think the the more the more things we have to offer patients, um, the better. This treatment is in the early stages of the approval process. While the first round of human testing begins Tuesday, FDA approval would not come until late 2025 or early 2026. In Santa Clara County, Dustin Dorsey, ABC 7 News.